Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I am once again using the Kuretake Gansai Tambei Art Nouveau watercolor set. This was actually in the very beginning when I first got this set and I filmed myself with the intention of never to release it because I was just playing around and I didn't really know how it would turn out. And sometimes the camera is on when I do that and other times it's not. And I'm actually kind of glad that the camera was on for this. So I decided to turn it over to you after all. I decided that I wanted to put my lines down first, which I haven't done in a while. And instead of pens, I decided to use this acrylic ink that I had. I wasn't quite sure how to apply the lines, and so I just used the dropper that the ink came with. and they kind of look like funky sticks. The color that I used was sepia and unfortunately it turned out almost black once it had dried. By doing it this way I learned that if I dilute this ink then you can actually see the sepia color much better when it dries and that's why I like just playing around because every time I play around and I try new things I learn something new so even though you probably can get away with using that sepia out of straight out of the bottle the way it is if you work on a little bit of a larger scale and you have an opportunity to dilute it on your canvas or on your paper you could probably see the sepia a little bit better right now it just looks like a really dark dark brown or almost black I didn't think I would like it in the end, but sometimes you just have to keep going and trust the process. And that's what I did here. As you can see, those watercolors are slightly more opaque than other watercolors. And so I realized that by covering the darker lines, it almost made them look milky and I didn't quite like that look. So I ended up taking some of that color off. And instead of rinsing it out in the water and losing all that pigment, I felt a little bit precious about it because it was a brand new set and I didn't want to lose <laughs> all that color so I just put it on some paper and I was hoping that maybe I could turn it into something else that has yet to be decided as of now it is still sitting on my desk unused but that's okay maybe I will use it for something else and maybe I won't I also went in with a paper towel and blotted it off a little bit. And I also started using the shapes that I saw almost like a coloring page in the beginning. But I got tired of it quickly and then I just started to 
be a little bit more loose about where I was putting my colors and I ended up liking it that way a lot better. I do, however, want to try something like that in the future. At this point, it didn't feel quite right. Anyway, I am just going to fill this page with different kinds of greens and blues and later on I'm also going to bring in some of the saffron yellow which has quickly become one of my favorite colors in this palette and once everything has completely dried you will then see me come in and doodle a little bit on it and also put down some of my dots with my dotting tool. But for now I'm gonna let you watch what I do and then I will come back in the end and give you my final thoughts on it.
Okay, here are my final thoughts. As you can see, I kept it fairly simple with my doodles. I basically just stuck to my lines and some bubbles and my dots. And I tend to do that when the piece itself is already pretty busy. And also, I really liked what the colors were doing on the paper. And so I didn't want to take away from that or cover it up. And to lighten up those darker sepia lines, I also decided to put some of those gold dots on top, especially where the lines tended to be a little bit thicker. And I think it helped lightening up those lines a little bit as well. Sometimes less is more and it definitely works for this one here. And it just goes to show that even if you're uncertain in the beginning, just keep going. You just might surprise yourself with something quite astonishing or very pretty. So as always, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about it? Did you like it? What did you like? And remember, everything I used is in the description box below this video. I'll see you next week.